thinks and feels about their own abilities contributes greatly to how they perform in the classroom. So if a student thinks positively about their academic abilities or their social or behavioral abilities, that's the way that they will respond to situations in a positive way. If they think that they can't do something or if they're a bad kid, that's how they will respond to certain situations. So we need to as educators um, promote positive self-talk within our students and teach them how to internally talk to themselves in a positive way about their assignments and about the way that they're thinking and behaving and that will reflect the way that they will actually behave in the classroom. Some assignments may leave students feeling very overwhelmed. This may be because they're just confused, they just don't understand the assignment, it's too large for them to really take in, and as teachers we need to be mindful of this. Task analysis is just breaking down the assignment into smaller steps for the students to really understand each step individually. So we can model and explain how to do each step so that the students will feel more comfortable doing each one and then putting them all together and this would hopefully elim eliminate a lot of behavioral issues. As shown here, a student behavior contract can be used to help students be accountable for their own behavior because there will be appropriate behavior goals set by the student and the teacher and the parent that will be agreed upon. They will also agree upon consequences for the student if their goals are not met and the student will receive motivating reinforcers for meeting their goals. Just as any contract, this will be signed by the parent, teacher, and the student. It's very important for anyone to reflect on their own behavior, especially students within the classroom. It's okay for students to make mistakes, and they must know this in the classroom, but they need also need to know how to know what they're feeling, how to express what they're feeling, how to think about things in terms of what can I do better next time. So having a self-reflection center in the classroom is a very good idea so that students can remove themselves from the situation, think about their behavior, and what they can do next time to approve, improve upon it. As educators, we need students to know that we are going to do exactly what we say we are going to do. This can be either positive or negative in the consequences that we give. For example, we could tell a student, if you do not do your homework assignment, you will have to stay in at recess, and we must keep them in at recess. If we tell students if they do something good in the classroom, they will be rewarded, and we need to give them this um, reinforcement. So basically, we just need students to know that there will be a level of consistency within the classroom, so we must always follow through on what we say.